We've had hybrid cars available for some period. Uh, Toyota Prius was the first hybrid vehicle and other um, manufacturers, the major manufacturers now also have hybrid uh, cars, combination of petrol and electric, where they can achieve performance and fuel economy within the same uh, vehicle. But for aircraft, there are no commercially available hybrid aircraft today. The reason for that is that the, the development, research and development of hybrid power plants for aircraft uh, is a relatively new undertaking. So only in the last few years have been people, um, people have been looking at this. And the reason is that the batteries really haven't been good enough. They've been too heavy for a given energy capacity to be viable in aircraft. With today's batteries, if you just run a, a quick back of the envelope calculation, if you were to replace all the engines and all the fuel in an airliner with batteries, it would fly for just under 10 minutes. So we're looking decades away before uh, an electric airliner will be a viable possibility. But with the advent of lithium polymer batteries, lightweight, high power density, we're at the point where their energy density is now viable, where you can begin to look at hybrid aircraft and indeed entirely electric aircraft, albeit with a reduced range. The hybrid demonstrator which we've built is based on a Czech-built airframe, which is called the SOM. It's a lightweight motor glider, single-seater motor glider, which fits into the microlight category in the UK. Now, the single-seat microlight category has recently been deregulated so that we are free to, um, to innovate, to research on power plants. So what we've done is we've combined a four-stroke petrol engine of about 7 kilowatts with an electric motor of about 10 kilowatts and made a combined package with a similar power to the standard engine which is provided on that airframe. The reason why we'd make a hybrid aircraft is because in aircraft the power you need for takeoff and climb is considerably higher than it is when you're up in the cruise, cruising along at a steady speed. So if we wish to achieve a particular climb rate then we would need a large petrol engine if we have just solely petrol and that does not run as efficiently when we throttle it back for the cruise. If we look at the hybrid concept then, we can use petrol and electric in combination to give us a very high power burst for takeoff and climbing. Then once we're up at cruise height, we can reduce the electric power, perhaps even down to zero, and we can cruise along where the engine, the petrol burning engine, is running at its most efficient point. So we get very high fuel economy. We can also, if we need to, tap a little bit of the extra power back and recharge the batteries so that we're ready to continue climbing or take off it for a second time. Our hybrid aircraft uh, is basically a test bed where we can evaluate the different technologies. At the moment, we're continuing to collect flight data and we're using that data to validate the, uh, the theoretical computer models which we've made of the airframe and the batteries and the engine and the motor together. So we're looking to see if the whole package behaves as it should do. Now in the longer term, beyond that, we can also start evaluating alternative fuels, for example. Because we have a petrol and electric combination together, then if either one of those uh, engines were to malfunction, for example, or not perform as expected, we have the backup of the other power source. So if we're looking at um, new fuel types, and we wish to understand how they work, perhaps at altitude or at different temperature ranges, then we've got the additional backup of the electric drive. So basically, it gives us a very useful test bed to evaluate different technologies.